Another redundancy mechanism is the doer checker approach, sometimes called a monitor actuator pair. An example of this approach is a combination of a low sill doer and a high sill checker. The low sill doer is in charge of doing the normal system operation. However, it might end up doing something unsafe. So the system is designed to fail silent by having a checker shut down the whole thing if the doer misbehaves. In this case, we're using a high sill checker because the system itself is high sill, meaning it is life critical or the equivalent. A problem with the simple version of this pattern is that the checker itself could fail. So if the checker were only a single CPU, it might have an internal fault missed by its self-diagnosis and end up not checking properly. That's why for this pattern, we're using a two of two pair for the checker. So that makes sure that the checker will catch any internal faults. And that checker checks a single one of one doer, which operates at a lower safety integrity level. So if the doer makes a mistake, the checker will shut it down. And if either of the two CPUs in the checker makes a mistake, the other checker will shut down the whole checking block, which also results in the doer being shut down. At this point, you're noticing that we're using three computers to do the job of one. But the reason that this can still be a win is that in many systems, much of the software does not have to be safety critical. Only a small amount does. So this pattern lets you put the non-critical software into the doer and have a much simpler, smaller checker piece of software that operates in the two of two checker hardware. So it might be that the doer is a big 32-bit CPU with lots of resources, and the checkers might only be 8-bit CPUs that are just enough to get the checking done. Because high sill software can be dramatically more expensive to develop, than low sill software, this approach can be a significant win in system cost because of the reduced software development costs. These are just examples of how various patterns can be used. Any particular system should use the right combination of patterns. The typical mechanisms that are combined are two of two pairs for fault detection, a doer checker strategy for isolating high and low sill software, and using hot standby to improve availability after a fault occurs.